I don't like war. It doesn't um, fascinate me, although I learned a good deal about World War II. I find it macabre and um, it tends to subordinate the concerns that are what keep a community flourishing, which is courtesy towards one another. It leads to demented incitement and a good deal of authorship of malice. Now, I don't think that there's any particular difference between what Russia has done and what the U.S. did in Iraq, except scale. U.S. was much more vicious in Iraq, apparently. You can get information about what's going on in the Ukraine where you couldn't in Iraq, another issue. But the point is, is that innocent people suffered. It was unnecessary. But putting all that aside, because the world is still um, predominantly involved in actions of peace, obviously I'd like to see a ceasefire. Obviously, I consider the issue of um, Russian right to protect um, Donbass and the Russian Federation a topic worthy of negotiations There's some mysterious things that happened in the Ukraine, but it's not my place. I don't intend to have it tampered with that I witnessed something that this interferes with. It seems to me there's a lot to learn about Russia. A lot of it is very interesting. There's videos online of people who even support Russia in the war that are interesting. There are many things beautiful and curious about Russia. And for a long time, it was looking like we might be going in the direction of hospitable relations to uh, work together on solving the climate crisis, which Putin, intelligent man that he is, is perfectly aware of it as being a problem. Um, the Beatles have mongered a consensus about the script they sent me as a child that I reject. Uh, the biggest problem about Russia is um, maintaining the truth that different people have different views about Russia internally. Externally, most people can handle it. Since I was tortured, brutally tortured in the United States, taken hostage, I know that America lies in saying that we're a better place than Russia. I mean, I just witnessed what happened in Uvalde in the news. Not normal. So I don't need to be um, lectured to about the, you know, ruthlessness of the Soviet Empire. It's a topic of history. I've even seen Vladimir Putin reflect with regret on Stalin's era. Now, so the problem is first principles of the American Library Association. I'm a library clerk. Erdogan, Putin, Biden, Sanders, Zelensky, Flippy Toon, Trumpy Toon, Cory Booker, all united in the um, absurd idea that I should lie about what was all said to me. And they had kind of banging their drums saying, you know, we're going to subordinate you to Lenin, we're going to blame you to Lenin, we're going to rape your girlfriend, we're going to inject you with AIDS, we're going to kill you, everybody who, love, who you love, and we're going to wipe out the Kennedys, we're going to do all, uh, we'll kill Donnie Chin, we're going to chase you around the block. We're going to bring back Pittman. We're going to bring back Kasparovsky. You're going to be singing a different tune because Pittsburgh says whoosh. The bottom line is Zell Spoke is reported. That can't be changed. You know, the American Library Association protects that. It's not fiction. 
it protects my right to testify see see that's the problem it's not none of this uh, you know russia phobic stuff it's not you know that i was chasing skirts it's not that uh, I was to blame for the murder of John Lennon, which I don't even believe really happened. If you look at the evidence, it's not that I'm, they owe me an apology. It's not that I'm sympathetic to the accident that I didn't celebrate the accident that in which Princess died Paris. They owe me an apology for targeting the candies in my family on the presumption, the evil idiocy of the idea that I had something to do with it because in their poetry book, their stupid, maniacal poetry book, they could write that sentence if they wanted to. Zell spoke as reported. See the difference? There's a really, really big difference. Like there's a leap of faith that Jimmy Queerball, his ESP signal, killed somebody important. I wouldn't know how the hell that would work. What did I do? Hybrid Zania was going on, but that was not my doing. I didn't go out and say, I want Princess Di flattened. I didn't say anything in, in the slightest in the world. Furthest thing from my mind. I didn't even know seriously Kennedy existed. And they because we know it'll hurt you to, if we kill it, Cersei Candy. We can read your heart. Hybrid saying it, in other words. All of that is flim flam. It's somebody doing like this at CMU Special Computer Operations. It's doing like this. Special Computer Operations, the kind of, you know, he's doing like this. Todd Kaufman, his drugs from Radio KKK are saying the liberal is a racist. They're doing like this, and somebody gets hurt, and people are mourning. And that's very sad to me as well. I don't like it, but it didn't have anything to do with me. And if somebody said it did, it's because they're misappropriating my name so that they can build this concept about the spiritual continuation of John Lennon, this the Swami Nostra of the people who are playing computer hybrid Zania. Nothing to do with me. Nothing. Come investigate. It had nothing to do with me, which means that the, some sort of mask has been put on by the vampires at Penis Gabriel's Office of Special Operations, misinforming the psyche of important people and trying to pull off this absurd slander. I mean, it's absurd on its face. It's an absurd slander. It is so paranoid and vicious and whacked out that the only way they can justify it is by saying, well, we sent you a scroll when you were 12 years old, right, from a 12, another 12 year old that could have saved John Lennon. An absurd thing to do. An absurd thing to accuse the victim of. No trauma. Pictures of horror of when I was kidnapped and tortured. All of that beside the point. Zell spoke as reported. That's the only thing that's important. He corroborated it, and all of the evidence that surrounds it before and after corroborates it. All of it before and after corroborates it. Zell spoke as reported. That's all that matters. My position in the Software Engineering so Service Employees International Union has been uh, resigned from because they copiously bs copiously bs for Schwarzenegger royalty, copious BSness, that they continue to copiously BS. But as a resigned library clerk, I still carry on the faith of the American library tradition, which means what? I have the right nonviolently to commissary, they call it in jail. You're given a pencil and a piece of paper. 
and you're entitled to write. And I swear that it is true that Will Zell spoke his report. What's hard about that? That you have to go, Sean Lennon has to go out and yell, Mr. Erdogan, Mr. Putin, Mr. Biden, Mr. Zelensky, Mr. Pittman, Mr. Eastwood, come and make him say that's not true. Come on, make him say it's not true. Killing people, beating them up, torturing them, raping them, you know, doing all sorts of crazed Swami Gnosis from his computer hybrid Zania. You know, because he, he's gotten Licky Chops money going along with Zell, Zell's pornographic genocide. But the bottom line is that what this has to do with the Ukraine is somebody's stunt in military society. It's a limited frame of could blow up the world. Could blow. Could, could, could blow up the world, Sonny. So why don't you just hush it down? Well, there's nothing to hush down. I don't want to blow up the world. Zell spoke as reported. That's the bottom line. That's what happened. It really did happen. He really did say when and where what he really did say when and where. That's all there is to it. And nothing that Argon or Putin can do to um, exonerate Sean Lennon will ever change that fact. Nothing that they can do to each other in the Ukraine will ever change that fact. Nothing that hybrid Zania can do to important celebrated people will ever change that fact. It's the bottom line. That's what happened. So spoke as reported. So you don't need to know my opinions. You don't need to know my poetry. You don't need to know what happened to me as a child. You don't need to question it. You don't need to give me your blubber BS about John Lennon, which had nothing to do with me. And then the hybrid Zania into new chapters of similar doings by the same people, which also had nothing to do with me. And the more it happens, the more it has nothing to do with me. But Zell spoke as reported. And I heard him, and so did a witness. Cell so spoke as reported. I can't find the witness. I don't know if he's ever been tracked down. I bet he remembers if he's still alive. But I know he was there. And I know that I can show substantiation for the fact, the fact that Zell spoke as reported. It's the bottom line. It has nothing to do with anything else. That's all that matters. That's all you need to know. That's all you should be thinking about. You should look into it. You really should. I don't know why you're not. I've been warning you and warning you and telling you and telling you for years and years and years and years. And never changes. They find something else to say from the Harvard Zania. 